Whether you just started playing or watching lacrosse, the rules of the game can be confusing. So today we're going to explain all of the basic rules so you can understand exactly what's going on. I'm Jake with Lax Weekly and let's get into the video. So the object of a lacrosse game is to score more goals than your opponent. So the team with the most goals at the end of the game wins. To score, a player must shoot the lacrosse ball into an opposing team's goal. A lacrosse goal is 6 feet wide by 6 feet high and it is guarded by a goalkeeper who tries to prevent the ball from going in the goal. And around every lacrosse goal is a circular line called a crease. And offensive players are not allowed to go in the crease at any time. If they do, it results in a turnover and the opposing team gets the ball. Lacrosse is played on a field 120 yards long and 65 yards wide, which is almost the same size as a football field, just slightly wider. There are 10 players on the field for each team, one goalie, three defenders, three midfielders, and three attackmen. Attackmen may only stay on the offensive side of the field, which means they can't cross over the midfield line. Defenders can only stay on the defensive side of the field and cannot cross over the midfield line either. Now, midfielders can go on either side of the field. There are certain exceptions to this, but use this as a general rule of thumb when trying to learn the game. So every lacrosse game begins with a face-off, where a ball is placed in between two midfielders, squatted down at the very center of the field. Think of this similar to a jump ball in basketball, except on the ground. Face-offs are done after every goal and at the start of every quarter. And lacrosse is played in four quarters, and after each quarter, teams switch sides. So if Team A defended this goal in quarter one, they would defend this goal in quarter two and so on. There's a short break between each quarter and a longer break at halftime after two quarters. And quarters vary in length based on the level of lacrosse you play, but generally they're about 12 to 15 minutes long. And there are no ties in lacrosse. If each team has the same number of goals after four quarters, the teams will go into overtime until a winner is decided. In order to move the ball around the field, lacrosse players can pass the ball to each other with their sticks, or they can run the ball themselves and cradle, which which is where they move their lacrosse stick back and forth to keep the ball inside the stick. Lacrosse players try to dodge or move around their defender in order to get open to score, and defenders will try to stop players by checking or using their stick to try to dislodge the ball from their opponent. Lacrosse is a full contact sport, but there are certain limitations. Hits from in front of a player are allowed, but you can't push a player from behind. In addition, you can't make head-to-head -head contact with an opponent. You also can't slash or use your metal stick to hit Hit a player unnecessarily in the head, legs, or arms. And lacrosse out of bounds rules are mostly similar to other sports. If you're the last player to touch a ball when it goes out of bounds, the other team gets the ball. But there is one important exception. If a team shoots the ball and misses the goal, whoever is closest to the ball when it goes out of bounds gets possession. So a team can miss a shot but still get the ball back if they're closest to it when it goes out of bounds. This only applies to a shot, so if you pass it in and it goes out of bounds, the other team gets the ball. This can be kind of confusing at first, but you'll get the hang of it. One other thing to keep in mind is that like hockey, lacrosse players can move freely behind the goal. The area behind the goal is called the X, and many times at least one offensive player is at X during a game. There are several common penalties that you'll see in lacrosse, the first one being offsides. Teams must keep four players, including the goalie, on the defensive side of the ball at all times. They also have to keep three offensive players on the offensive side of the ball at one time. If there are too many players on one side of the field, an offsides is called and the other team gets possession. If you're having trouble understanding offsides, I'll leave a link in the description to my video explaining offsides in more detail. And another common penalty is the cross check. This is when you push a player with your stick and your hands are spread apart. Your hands must be together when pushing a player or else it's considered a cross check. And like I mentioned earlier, another common penalty is the slash, where a defender hits a player in the head, legs, or arms area. And if a team gets a penalty, the person who committed the penalty has to go to the penalty box for a certain amount of time. When the player is in the penalty box, the opposing team has an advantage, playing with one extra player on the field. This is called going man up, and the team with the disadvantage is man down. You'll also notice that defenders have longer six foot metal sticks, as opposed to offensive players with shorter sticks. A team can only have four of these players with the longer stick on the field at one time, which is usually three defenders and one midfielder who also has that longer stick. There are also several specialized positions in lacrosse that I go in depth on in my lacrosse positions video that I'll also link down to below. There's also gear that you have to wear, 
wear in order to be properly fitted for a game, so you can check out my gear video as well. This should give you a good understanding of the basics of lacrosse. I'm Jake with Lax Weekly. I read all the comments, so let me know down below what you want to see next, and have a fantastic day.